What's up guys, it's Christopher here from Cars Unlocked. Doing something a little different today. Today I wanted to discuss with you guys my ownership experience after about six months of owning the Nissan Rogue. It's actually been about probably nine months, I would say now, uh, of ownership. And I wanted to just go through things I like about it, things I don't like about it, my experiences driving this vehicle, and what it's like so that you can get a good idea uh, when making a buying decision what you're getting yourself into and what owning a Nissan Rogue would be like. Full disclosure here guys, I don't actually, uh, I didn't actually purchase the vehicle, I don't actually own it. This is a demo given to me from my work, St. Catharines Nissan, that I got, I got probably late winter of about last year and I've been driving it now as my daily driver, so I don't actually own it. Uh, however, this one I've driven every single day and I can give you a good in-depth look of what it's like owning this vehicle. Uh, so even though I'm not owning it, I, you might be curious about the financing and the payments on it. So you can finance this vehicle right now. It's uh, November of 2021. The payments are going to be about 262 bi-weekly at 2.9% for 84 months. And this one is the SV Premium, is the package that I have. So it's the middle package, and then you get the upgraded leather as well. So um, we, we're going to get into the fuel economy, talk about the fuel economy a little bit, what it's like to fill up. So from empty to full, it was 73 bucks for 52 liters, 140 a liter. A little pricey right now, but uh, anybody in the States, comment what it is in the States, how the prices are, and we can compare. And now I just want to talk about kind of what it's like to drive the vehicle and some of the things I don't like. Right now we're on the highway here, and I'm going to start with a uh, big positive, which is the Pro Pilot Assist, which I have going on right now. Without this, I wouldn't be filming this video and talking to you guys at the same time, but essentially it uses all the cameras the sensors everything in the vehicle the nissan safety shield to keep the vehicle centered in the lane and maintain your speed and that's phenomenal basically it kind of allows you to i don't want to say pay less attention but you don't have to always be concentrating on if you're deviating from the lanes or anything like that it keeps you perfectly centered in the lane and it's great on long road trips it's great if you're having like in-depth conversations with your passengers it's great if you're drinking coffee things like that um, it's also great if you maybe want to go on your phone real quick. I don't want to advertise that, but it's great for that too. Um, so really, I really like that. It's really come in handy on long road trips, helps reduce fatigue. A few things that I don't like about it is using the intelligent cruise control. You can set your distance of the where you want to be of the car in front of you, one car length, two car lengths, or three car lengths. I haven't fully found like the perfect setting for where I want my car lengths to be. I find three car lengths is still uh, a little far from the car in front of you. Two car lengths, it's far enough, but people still have space to kind of cut you off and then it's slamming on the brakes. And then one car length is just super close. So play around with it guys. Let me know where you guys use that intelligent cruise control if you guys like that um, or not. Um, I've only noticed this people from reading reviews. You know, everybody says that the engine is noisy. 99% of the times when I'm driving the car, I listen to the radio, I have the music cranked, and I never really no notice the engine noise. Like here, if I accelerate, it's got a little bit of a whiny groan to it, but um, it's acceptable for me. The other beef that I see in the reviews is the acceleration. A lot of people say it lacks power, it lacks acceleration. And I have, I have kind of agreed with this throughout the years. However, now that I've been driving this for an extended period of time, I've never really been in a situation where I've needed to go faster or it hasn't had enough get up and go for me. I'm a pretty conservative driver. Um, as you can see, my average driving speed was uh, like 49 kilometers an hour. So very low average driving speed and I've never really needed that need to take off. Um, so 
I don't really understand why people really say that unless they have heavy foots or things like that. Uh, the other thing I want to talk about is the Nissan Connect Services app. Now, I haven't officially downloaded the app and used it and synced it to this Rogue, only because this is a demo and another person's going to own this car once we sell it and I don't want to use their free trial on the service app. However, I was able to come across another uh, Nissan Rogue owner review uh, from Smoke and Monkey. We're going to link his description, uh, his video in the description below. And you guys can jump to that one after this because he gives you a good insight of the Nissan Connect Services app. Um, from my experiences with it, I haven't really had too many customers use it. I haven't really had too many customers complain about it because I don't think too many people use it, the app. For the functionality that it has, you already get all that in the car. Some things that I use that Nissan really advertises, one feature that they really advertise is the this little shifter knob here, the different drive modes. So they advertise that there's multiple drive modes with the vehicle. You know, you have the snow mode, the economy mode, the off-road mode, the sport mode. I've never really used the different drive modes. Um, I know they advertise that a lot, but I haven't really switched around and tried this with this dial here um, that I've used. The only one I would really consider using is the economy mode. Maybe the snow mode when winter comes, but even in the winter time, I didn't even use the snow mode. So I don't really use that dial. Guys, let me know if this is something that you guys use often, but I feel like Nissan really pushed the drive mode selector, but it's not something that I use every day. Another thing I want to talk about is the lack of navigation. To get the navigation, you got to go up to the top package and use your navigation. I wish it had navigation. Yes, this car has the Android Auto and the Apple CarPlay. However, I don't really I don't really use that very often, mainly because my phone is very old and my cord has a hard time syncing and it often cuts in and out. So I don't really use the navigation, but I wish I had the navigation built in right on the screen here. Another thing that I don't like about it is uh, the shifter now I do like the shifter don't get me wrong guys they redesigned the shifter and it's this kind of square shifter it does take some getting used to I mentioned that in my other videos um, but what I find is sometimes like for example if I'm reaching for my pop I'll bump it a little bit and you can bump it pretty easy if I'm reaching for something here I bump it back and then it drops into the manual mode and see now I'm in uh, like seventh gear and stuff so sometimes I have to push it back forward or push it back to pull it back into drive. You can see how easily it is. Like if I'm grabbing something from here, I can easily bump it. And I've caught myself bumping it and then the car will shift right into first gear or something like that if I'm going slow. And then I have to bump it back to get it back into the automatic drive there. A uh, little annoyance, um, is it potentially dangerous? And uh, Not really, but it's just a little annoying. And then sometimes I realize, oh, the car's revving so high, why is that? It's because I bumped it into the manual mode. So one other beef that I have with the shifter. So there you have it guys. Let me know what you guys think. Do you guys own a Nissan Rogue? What's your experiences with it? Hopefully this helped you make an educated buying decision. Now you guys know what I like, what I don't like, and is there things that you like or things that you don't like? Subscribe to my channel because we are going to be doing a few snow tests and we're gonna be taking the Nissan Rogue out in the snow, seeing how it drives once the snow arrives. So if you're curious how it drives in the snow, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. As always, follow me on Instagram, and we'll see you in the next video.